Greeting students. Today we are going to learn about one of USA's leading automotive company, Delphi. Most of us at least once must have heard the name of the company, Delphi. Let us know this company in a much better way. Delphi Automotive PLC is an American multinational automotive parts manufacturing company headquartered in Troy, Michigan, United States. It is one of the world's largest automotive parts manufacturers and has approximately 1,46,600 employees of whom around 18,900 are in the United States. With offices worldwide, the company operates 150 wholly owned manufacturing sites, 44 joint ventures, 53 customer centers and sales offices and 33 technical centers across 38 countries. We had noted across the globe the government regulations and consumer preferences were changing rapidly. And these trends were very clear. Customers and regulators both wanted safer vehicles, better fuel economy, and lower emissions, and connectivity and infotainment while in the vehicle. And we hand selected our portfolio. We went from 27 business units to 10. We narrowed our product lines from 119 to 33. And the product portfolio was focused on the hot space of safe, green, and connected. And 70% of our revenues are from products with a number one or number two market position. We have diversified and balanced the company. Our largest customer is now only 21% of our revenue. Our six largest platforms are with six different OEMs. And we have five customers, each with over a billion dollars in revenue. We right-sized the cost structure to ensure that we were profitable across all points of the auto industry cycle. We strengthened our balance sheet by addressing uncompetitive legacy costs. And finally, we focused on balance across our customer base and geographical footprint. Our transformation is complete. And it was done with the objective not to just create a company that could survive, but to create a business that could thrive. The new Delphi is a far different company than the one we transformed in 2005. And since our formation back in October of 2009, our revenues have grown by over 40%. We created a business that is competitive and is profitable with a lean and flexible cost structure, superior margins, solid returns on invested capital, and very strong cash flow. We are building on the transformation, and we are well positioned as we shift our focus to expansion of both the top and bottom line of Delphi. In 1994, General Motors formed Automotive Components Group. In 1995, ACG was renamed Delphi Automotive System. In 2002, Delphi Automotive Systems was renamed Delphi Corporation, reflecting its diversified business direction. In February 2007, Delphi announced the closure of its plan in Puerto Real Cadiz, Spain, with a loss of 1,600 direct jobs and more than 2,500 indirect jobs. Despite having agreed to continue its manufacturing operation until 2010 and receiving more than Euro 25 million from various public administration in order to guarantee its workers' job, the Andalusian Autonomous Government announced it would begin legal action against the company for breach of local labor laws. On 6 October 2009, Delphi's core assets were purchased by a group of private investors to create a new Delphi corporation. Some of its non-core steering operations have been sold to General Motors Company, the successor to the Bankrupt Motors liquidation company that used to be the old General Motors Corporation. The stock was cancelled. The old Delphi corporation was renamed DPH Holdings Corporation. During the Chapter 11 cases, Delphi has made substantial progress in identifying and implementing the sale for receiving bankruptcy court approval to sell or win down of those facilities and business lines that do not support the company's future strategic framework. The sale of the brake hose manufacturing business in Dayton, Ohio to Harco Manufacturing Group announced in January 2007. The settlement of a social plan in the Conscorcio or Spanish insolvency proceeding of Delphi Automotive System Expana SL. The wind down of a Delphi Medical Texas facility in Houston, Texas. 
the sale of the global steering and half shop business to steering solution corporation a wholly owned subsidiary of platinum equity llc announced in december 2007 the steering business was based in Shagina, Michigan and was formerly known as the Sagina Steering Division of General Motors. Our automotive partners are really important to us. They're part of the whole supply chain, of course, to get cars built. There's thousands and thousands of parts in these cars. We make a very important part of the car and it's really a whole system as a platform but working with companies like Delphi now we can bring in all the different types of electronic systems together put together a full platform so again whether it's doing infotainment systems instrument clusters or driver assistance systems a company like Delphi can help us deliver these solutions to a wide variety of automakers around the world what we're seeing especially at venues like CES and in the North Hall is where traditional automotive technologies are coming together with the latest consumer electronics technologies. In fact, the, the instrument cluster, which is a, historically a very traditional space, is going through a major change. We're moving from traditional analog gauges to fully reconfigurable. And that gives us the opportunity to bring in all sorts of graphical effects and, it, and display the information in very new and exciting ways, but doing it in a safe manner. But to do that, you need good partners. And what we've done is I, uh, working with NVIDIA as the graphics engine behind the reconfigurable cluster and, the, and their HMI tools developed over a very short period of time a really interesting cluster that can be personalized, can change the themes, and display the information in a very crisp and interesting manner. And so it's taken this rather mundane space, the instrument cluster, and turned it into a, another outlet for your, your content and your information, whether it's cover art, your contacts, or your navigation. It allows us to actually filter out the most important part and display it in a way that is easily visible and concise, so the contact picture or the number or uh, that type of information without having to look down at the center stack or at your phone, but rather it's keeping your eyes right in the, in the primary field of view uh, to drive safely. And so it really is exciting and NVIDIA as a partner provides a great tool set as well as a graphics engine to allow us to do that. Delphi is structured into the following groups. Consumer products, manufacturer products, of food market and dealer products. The company is focusing the organization on the following core strategic product lines. Controls and security, body security, mechatronics and display, electrical or electronic architecture, electrical or electronic distribution system, connection system and electrical centers. Entertainment and communication, audio, navigation and telematics, powertrain, diesel and gasoline engine management system, safety, occupant protection and safety electronics, thermal, climate control and powertrain cooling. On 4th November 2009, Delphi named a new board. John A. Kroll is the chairman of the new board. Rodney O'Neill is the President and Chief Executive Officer of the company since 1st January 2007, replacing Robert S. Steve Miller. Researcher at the University of Massachusetts Amherst identified Delphi Corp as the 21st largest corporate producer of air pollution in the United States in 2002. According to the study, the manufacturer's most toxic emissions include asbestos, 5 1421 B per year, chromium compounds 1008 to 1 B per year, lead compounds 8466 1 B per year, and sulfuric acid 17601 B S per year. While the most massive emissions are glycol ethers 1,11,521 B S per year and hydrochloric acid 80,001B per year. 
Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney drew $15.3 million in profits from companies that were involved in the bailout of the U.S. auto industry, alleges a new report released Thursday by the liberal magazine The Nation. Romney opposed the $80 billion in federal loans that were given to General Motors and Chrysler in 2008 and 9. But the report claims the former Massachusetts governor made money from hedge funds that took over a General Motors part supplier. The nation's report said Romney and his wife Anne invested in a hedge fund operated by one of his campaign donors. Paul Singer that made $1.28 billion from the auto bailout after buying Delphi Automotive. The company Elliott Management put Delphi on the public stock exchange after purchasing it from GM. The Nation report says, and by 2011, investors in the auto part company made $15.3 million for each $1 million in stock they purchased. Romney has said the industry would have been better served by forcing auto companies through a managed bankruptcy without the federal bailed out funds. The company discussed in the Nation report, Delphi Automotive also has sparked controversy over its treatment of its employees' pensions in the bailout. Delphi went to bankruptcy in 2009 after approximately $1 billion in bailout money from the federal government was used to pay pension for union workers at the company. So students, we went through the company's history to its present market scenario. Hope you must have got useful information about the company. Have a nice day. Goodbye.